Hello, my name is John, and in this episode, I'll be reviewing a handheld I had never heard of up until about a week ago, and that's called the Zeus Console. And the way I came about this handheld was actually through my oldest brother, Greg. He saw this online and decided to order it for me, thinking I'd get a kick out of it. And, you know, I was kind of surprised to see this in the mail. And what it is, it's a, it's a handheld that includes 20 built-in games. You can't expand beyond that, unfortunately. But you can play it on the handheld itself, or you can also plug it into your TV through the AV cables and play it through your TV. Uh, so is it worth the price? Is it worth getting or looking into? Or is it just one of those cheap clones that, you know, maybe you should not even consider getting? So we'll, we'll decide that together. So I'm going to open it up. We'll see the box. We'll do some gameplay and, and determine from there. Thanks for watching. Here is the, the box itself. I can, I can tell you first impression is it's very colorful. There's a lot going on, almost too much going on in the cover. You got pictures of, of the games. You got the console itself. Uh, LexiBook is the, the maker of this console. Uh, I did some research. I've come to find out LexiBook is actually a, a European uh, electronic company out of France. And they're, they're big making like tablets. They make some, some kids toys and they just have a plethora of different uh, electronic devices that they make and this is one of them so I, I don't know honestly when this came out but i don't think it's very old at all maybe a couple of years old uh, but i might be wrong so if you guys know let me know i appreciate that but and it's also very light this thing is like it feels like there's nothing in here it's it's like super light it's like air so i'm kind of hesitant as it is right now as far as this product goes i, I want to say on amazon i saw these sell for like around 20 dollars, so they're not not that expensive that might be a sign as far as what we have to come in this console for sure uh, but uh, it says portable and TV console, 20 games with 16 bit technology with exclamation mark as if that's a huge deal because it's not like 20 year old technology, 16 bit technology, right? It's now, it's modern, it's hip. Uh, but then you also have this warning label here in the bottom left corner, IG 900 US. I have no idea what that means. You get the five plus, which means I guess uh, for five plus year olds. You got a nice little, um, you know, lanyard there. You can hold on to it. And on the side here, more pictures of the console itself. Here's on the back. Um, these are just some, some of the games. Obviously, it doesn't show all 20, and there's no names, so I really don't know the names of these games, but I can tell you they're almost like clones. A lot of them appear to be like puzzle-style games, so if you're into that kind of thing, it uh, might be worth checking out. You got Pool, of course. This game right here looks like a lot like a game I used to play a lot on the Game Boy, classic Game Boy, and that was called Boxel. It looks like you're moving boxes around. It's a puzzle game. Uh, you almost have like a Space Harrier shooting game kind of there. Uh, you know, Tetris clone, top right corner. This looks like Space Invaders, possibly. You know, who knows? Probably a whole bunch of clones. But let's see what it says here. A console to be carried everywhere for all occasions. So I can, I guess, I can carry it at a wedding. I could maybe play it in school, right? Maybe when I'm, I'm going to the restroom, I can maybe bring it. And it's all occasions, right? I can whatever, right? Um, hmm, that's interesting. 20 different TV games with 16-bit graphics, including arcade, adventures, and sport. Now, why didn't they move those words up here a little bit? I don't know. Arcade, which is kind of weird wording to me. When the console is played solo, you can play with the game in black and white. Wow. I can play in black and white. Why would you want to play in black and white? Again, is this the Game Boy? Or is this like, it, it's weird. Like, that's like a huge, like, that they, they point that out. You can actually play it in black and white. Hmm. Maybe it saves battery that way. I don't know. Uh, when the console is connected to the TV via SCART or AV... You can play with the 20 games in full color. And notice how they spell color. It's a European, it's the, I guess, they, you know, Canada, they spell it like that, but it's a non uh, American way of spelling, spelling color with a U, which is fine. Uh, but it just kind of shows you that it's, it's a European company, which is, which is fine. But, uh, but, you know, it's funny because you look at the copyright here and it says, uh, well, made in China, but it's also like distribu distributed in, through New York. So that's, that's cool. Uh, here, Lexi Book is registered trademark. Pox is checked uh, rigorously through all stages of development. Uh, game is suitable for children under 36 months as it contains small detail. Okay, well, why don't they just say three years rather than 36 months? I think that'd be a lot easier to say three years rather than 36 months. See, I got to do math there. I'm like, how old is that? 36 months. You've got, uh, oh, it takes us uh, th three uh, AAA batteries not included. And it's got the recyclable. You can actually recycle this card. That's important to, to be green. It's a green box, right? You can recycle. So let's open this thing up and then see what's inside. Okay, so I open it up, and this is what's inside. Uh, we've got a uh, manual here, instructions manual. And we got their, their telebook.com or telebookjunior.com, their websites. Kid's super excited playing this uh, Zeus console. Look at him, he's super stoked about it. Hell yeah. 
on off, this is just kind of simple description of the console itself. Startup guide, ear jack, AV out. These are the names of the game. You got uh, Deep Storm, uh, Pinball Flash, Jewel Fever 2, Dream Bubble. That's like maybe like it's a puzzle bubble kind of game. Busy Bong. Busy Bong. Man, that's like college days back in the day, right? <laughs> just joking, just joking. Uh, Magic Jelly. Uh, Plumber, Mr. Onion, Bubble Blaster. I've played games similar to that. Um, Seek the uh, Resources. Make Way, Final Escape, Pool Pro, Lost World, Tiger Rescue. And of course, it shows you the instructions on how to play all these. A Lucky Q. Um, uh, Caddy. Get the Meat. Get the Meat. It doesn't make any sense to me because it's Meat, like M E E T, not Meat, M E A T. Uh, Super Move Quest and Find the Way. Wow, amazing names for, I'm sure, not amazing games, but uh, let's put it aside. It comes with, you got AV jacks here, and notice it's not in stereo, so you just you don't have the red jacks, so you just have the yellow and white, and yeah, honestly, this, the quality of this, these wires aren't that great, but it uh, looks like it's really long, which is nice, because you, um, you can sit down on your couch or wherever you're sitting and, and play it. That's always convenient. This, I'm assuming, would, would plug into the console, the handheld itself. Here's the handheld. Let's pull this out. And um, hmm, overall impressions of the, the handheld itself. It's NTSC region. Okay. I'm sure they have a PAL region as well. So the lanyard um, actually comes installed there. That's nice. Don't worry about that. Looks like you got your AV out. You got your headphones. Kind of like cheap plastic a little bit. The buttons kind of responsive. Feels like these bottom buttons are maybe a little bit more responsive than these ones, these arrows. Uh, your directional pad. This is your power button right here. I gotta put batteries into it. Your reset. And your pause, you have a pause button here. And this looks like you have you have one one speaker. So again, it's not in stereo. And you got this sticker here, it peels off a uh, protective layering of the screen. And this is where the batteries would actually uh, plug into. You know, and I really, man, I really hate this. This is, they put these mini screws here. So you have to actually screw, get a mini screwdriver and unscrew it. Uh, they do that, I'm sure, for choking purposes. But, man, they give you a warning on the box. Um, that's just, you know, it's super frustrating. It really pain in the ass to do that. And that's, that's a huge knock on the system right off the bat. So let's put some AAA batteries in here and, and see how the games play and how it sounds. Okay, before I boot this thing on, I want to point out to you a couple things. It's got a volume control here, volume up. And volume down. Let's turn. It's got to turn on. Do some load time. This has got a 2.5 uh, Super V LCD screen, 2.5 inch. Here's the menu screens. Finally loaded up, and it's got uh, six games under Hot Game category, which is interesting. I'm not sure what Hot Game is all about. You got 14 games that are beneath that. So let's try Deep Storm. Got to click one button here. any power-ups or anything. Kind of weird. The music isn't good at all in this, to be honest with you. Very mono sound. And I died. Okay, we're going to reset that. Let's try Pinball Fish. See what that's about. It looks like it's um, Arkanoid or Alleyway clone. Oh, got to worry about the power up there. I screwed myself there. Stand it. Well, you guys get the idea. It's a clone. A lot of these are clones. No surprise. Let's see what Dream Bubble's about. You got normal. You got special. I don't know how well you can see it through the camera, but I see that the pixels are, you can see little tiny black spaces in them. It's not, it's kind of very pixelated. Um... Not very high res, I should say. The resolution for sure, it's, it's not very high res. And this looks like uh, kind of a mix between Bubble Bath Babes and Tetris. <laughs> that was an interesting first piece I got. Oh, see, I lined it up wrong. It's hard to see where you line it. It's... That's too bad. 
So if you guys know of Tetris, this is, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. The next thing I'm going to try, let's do this. Let's do one more, and then I'm going to play a couple more on the, the big screen TV. So you can kind of get the idea how it plays and looks on a, uh, a TV. But let's see. Get, get the meat. Okay, this one's got interesting music. Wow, it looks like, like Joe and Mac. Which is a game I, I played for on the Super Nintendo, but I think it was initially an arcade game. But you can't jump or you can't fall off anything on this either. So I'm supposed to go somewhere. It's a puzzle, obviously. I don't see anywhere where I can play this game in black and white. That's interesting. So let's check out some games on, on TV and see how it actually looks on, on a TV compared to the monitor. Because maybe it's a little higher resolution on TV. We'll see how that works. I have the Zeus handheld in my hand, plugged into the TV. Let's power it on and see what happens. You'll notice the image pops on the TV. It's no longer on the handheld. I'll unplug it. Now it's on the handheld. Plug it back in on the TV. I figured it out. You actually have to push a button to go to the menu because otherwise you'll just stay here forever. I thought it was loading, but in essence you have to hit a button. Good to know. Let's see what we got here. What's Busy Bong about? Beginner, okay. So there I am, I'm supposed to move this box maybe? Over the red, there you go, over the red dot. Okay. Sound effects are interesting. It's like a golf clap. Okay, here's a little, this is more a little tricky here. Yeah, figure it out. Okay, let's go back to the menu here. What's Mr. Onion? I'm like, it's more like an orange than an onion, really. But that's interesting enough. You can't jump in this. But you can fall and die, apparently. I mean, Got a key, guess that's dead. Okay. Oh, you can jump down there. So I collect all these fruits, I guess. Oh, that's no good. It should be called Mr. Orange. Name doesn't really fit the game very well. Let's reset it. Pull Pro. Lost World. This is, okay. There's like no sound. And I have no ammo. Oh, there you go. I'm supposed to collect all the crystals and badges apparently. And there's like ninjas and snakes. So it's like, oh, this is like Frogger. That's interesting. And I can't move, it's like the controls Judgment pad is not very responsive here. There's a key. It's a potion of some sort. Does that mean I'm invisible? Yeah. So it's like an advanced form of Frogger. That's interesting. Let's do one more game for you. Let's do, uh, this is a hot game. This is Pool Pro. Looks like a pet. Paris. All right, this is pool. You do the directional here. What I want to do? It's power. Hitting the eight ball. I don't think that's a good thing. Okay. Um, so, in a nutshell. 
uh, this handheld, the Zeus console, is, is very affordable. It's $20, and you kind of pay what you get for it. If you're looking for a handheld for a higher replay value, this is definitely not the console for you. But if you're looking for, um, if you only have a you know, tight budget and you're looking for a game system that has some, some decent clones, and if you're a big fan of the 16-bit era, it might be worth checking out because the investment's very small. So that's kind of my, my review over the Zeus console, so to speak. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.